Just into us, Hunter Biden has agreed to testify before the Republican-led House Oversight Committee on December 13th. That's according to a letter sent to the panel this morning. The news comes after the committee issued a subpoena to Hunter Biden in early November, summoning the president's son to appear as part of an escalation of the Republicans' impeachment inquiry into President Biden. At the same time, two sources tell NBC News this morning the president's brother, James Biden, also has been in communication with the House Committee after it asked him to appear for an interview with the panel on December 6th. Oversight Committee Chair Republican James Comer of Kentucky issued the subpoenas, which focus on the Biden family's business dealings. So Jonathan Lemire, Hunter Biden had been subpoenaed for closed door testimony. What he and his attorney are saying, let's do it out in the open so you can't manipulate what I said in the hearing. I agree, says Hunter Biden, to public testimony here in a couple of weeks. Yeah, and this is part of a new, far more aggressive strategy from Hunter Biden and his new attorneys, uh, including Abby Lowell, who are being far more combative, trying to stand up to what the Republicans are doing in the House. Uh, and it's, But it goes beyond that. He has sued Rudy Giuliani and Robert Costello uh, for allegedly hacking into that data from his laptop. He sued the Delaware computer store owner, who's the one who gave Giuliani uh, and his uh, cronies uh, that laptop. He is, of course, you know, under, he's facing legal pressure from a number of sides. There's the House of uh, the Representatives investigation. There, of course, is the criminal matter as well. Uh, you know, this is something that is going to be a storyline next year. As much as the White House does not want it to be, it will be a liability. A lot of it is false equivalency. We know these are trumped up uh, accusations. We know the Republicans are trying to paint the Bidens with the same brush that, of course, the Trumps and Donald Trump, who is facing 91 criminal accounts, uh, is uh, up against. But this is something the Hunter Biden team is like, well, we're not going to take this line down. We're going to fight back. We are going to push back. Uh, and this here is just the, the latest sense of that. And, Mike, this is a little of what supporters of Joe Biden have wanted to see, which is punching back against something they see as a complete farce, which is this investigation, as the chairman himself, James Comer, has said, has yielded a lot of smoke created by him, but no fire yet. That's his words. Yeah, well, I think Jonathan's absolutely correct. And I think the idea is that for Hunter Biden and perhaps uh, Jimmy Biden at some point uh, to appear before these House committees and basically give their version of the truth. I mean, they've been surrounded now for months about talk from mm -hmm. Comer and every other Republican on either of these committees, the Weaponization Committee as well as Comer's committee, about the Biden crime family. So they are going to testify and give their version of their truth. And uh, we'll see what stands up. But I think uh, Hunter Biden has nothing to fear here in terms of who he is and what he's willing to talk about. He's willing to talk about everything. Just requiring transparency about it. So